What's up guys, Matt Laidlaw here from Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson. I'm coming to you today from the Rock Store in Malibu, California, one of the most iconic biker destinations in Southern California. So today, Harley-Davidson made a huge announcement. They announced the introduction of a new modular middleweight platform motorcycle that will span over three distinct product spaces and four different displacements. So anywhere from 500 cc to 1250 cc and this new frame and engine is basically going to cover some some new segments that Harley Davidson hasn't really gotten into before. So the first one is a touring and adventure touring motorcycle they're calling the Pan America and it's like a dual sport adventure tour on off-road type motorcycle and there's a new street fighter style model so more of like a naked upright style bike and then there's what they're calling a custom model which i i predict is going to be what's going to replace the sportster family as we know it right now and then they're also talking more about the live wire today so i'm going to jump into the video that harley davidson put out and some of the other publications like cycle world and because they were actually able to interview some of the top Harley-Davidson executives and, and answer a few more questions and get a little bit more information that Harley-Davidson didn't announce themselves. So I'm going to be d jumping into all the information that's out at this point on these bikes and answer some of the frequently asked questions and kind of give you guys my opinion on some of this stuff as well. So let's talk about the Pan America first. So this is Harley Davidson's adventure touring bike. I was super stoked about this bike when I first laid eyes on it. I haven't seen Harley do anything like this in the past. And having grown up riding dirt bikes and really my roots in motorcycle riding has been off-road. And I think Harley Davidson, you know, they're gonna sell plenty in the United States, but I think this is a bike that was also gonna be really targeted at European countries because these are very uh, popular over there as well. But as you can see, this is, this is going to be a, what Harley Davidson is calling a modular platform. So it's going to be what I'm, what I'm guessing, you know, the, the same like core frame with the same type of engine, just in different displacements for purposes of the different vehicle types. So Harley Davidson has said that this is going to be a 1250 cc for this Pan America bike. And you know, just a side note too, this Pan American name has been registered by Harley Davidson for a little while now. And so a lot of people were speculating as to what exactly this vehicle was gonna be that Harley Davidson was naming Pan America. And there was a lot of speculation about the Pan America being a new Sportster model and things like that. But of course, everybody was completely wrong. That's why it's difficult to ever speculate anything. Usually people are wrong. So this is on HarleyDavidson.com. So you, everybody has access to this here. So. Yeah, it says the Pan America is going to be a 1250. Uh, it's the company's first adventure touring motorcycle. The Harley Davidson Pan America 1250cc. Let's jump over to like Cycle World. So Cycle World has an article on it right now. So Cycle World reports that there's going to be two new internal combustion engines. And the main one that we're talking about here, which is going to be on the Pan America, the new Street Fighter bike and the new bike what they call custom which is like a cruiser bike that i think is going to replace the sportsters that is going to be either a, a 975 cc or a 1250 cc so the 975 cc is going to be on the street fighter bike and the 1250 will be on the pan america and the custom bike so a little bit of information about this engine it's a all liquid cooled 60 degree v-twin dual overhead cam and so on paper, to me, it, it looks a lot like what the V-Rod was, but I'm sure it's going to be, you know, completely new design. You're know, just looking at the the engine and the profile. I can already tell it's completely new, but on paper, it's going to be very similar to what we saw with the V-Rod. So definitely more of a modern technology on this bike. And just to reiterate, this is a prototype. So when the actual bike comes out in 2020, it could be a little bit different but Harley-Davidson has confirmed we can expect this bike to come out in 2020, so pretty excited for that. All right, guys, so now let's move on to the future Street Fighter model. So once again, this is gonna share the same, what I'm guessing, the same common frame or core frame 
as the adventure bike, the Pan America. This, however, is going to be a 975cc engine, so a smaller displacement, uh, basically a different variation of this same engine where we don't really quite know the name of this new engine yet. Uh, and Harley Davidson has said that this is going to be kind of like a modular design. So I'm assuming like the subframes and, you know, like the front end, the forks and the gas tanks and, and everything else, the wheels and swing arm are going to be different, but everything will kind of bolt onto the same core frame with this same engine, just a couple different variations of it. Um, again, that's just my speculation, but what we do know is that this is going to be a modular design that they're going to uh, basically utilize for a couple of different niches and a couple of different product lines. So, you know, Harley Davidson says that they're expanding their middleweight models, and this is the first Harley Davidson Street Fighter motorcycle, and it has been confirmed for the 2020 release. So, I'm not sure if that's the calendar year, I'm assuming that's probably the model year, 2020 model, model year. Um, and for those of you who aren't really familiar with Street Fighters and what that means, basically the Street Fighters are a, like a sport bike or super bike style bike that are more of an upright motorcycle. So the urban ergonomics are more of an upright. It's a naked style motorcycle, so you don't have the fairings and the shrouds on it like you do like on a regular like super bike. And the handlebars are more of an upright handlebar, more of like a motocross style handlebar. And the exhausts are usually you know chopped and shortened a little bit and real loud. And Street Fighter bikes usually have like a dual headlamp in the front. And this style is really, really, it draws its styling roots from the, the UK. These bikes are really the style and the origin of Street Fighter bikes come from the UK and, you know, European countries. So it's basically like a sport bike uh, style and, and handling and, and mannerisms with more of a upright modern UK styling on it. So I have a little bit more information that I dug up on Cycle World. It seems that Cycle World has kind of the most information about these bikes. So if you have a, ch a minute, check out their article as well. So they were able to interview Michelle Cumbier, who is the COO of Harley Davidson. And she was actually able to offer a little bit more information that you're going to find on Harley Davidson's website. So what they're saying here is that there will be nine Street Fighter models using the new engines. So there's going to be two new engines. The second engine is going to be like a smaller one for like your 500cc bikes, which I think are going to be sold primarily in like India and some of the more like developing countries. They say that India really has a very fast growing market for smaller CC motorcycles right now. But this bike will have this same engine, which we don't know the name of yet, that's you know going to be on the Pan America. But I don't know if all nine Street Fighter models are going to be coming out in the 2020 model year. I would assume that it probably won't be all nine. I, I'm sure there'll probably be like maybe two or three or four. And in the subsequent two years and like up to 2022, we'll see all nine released. Yeah, the, basically in the article goes on to say that, so the first one, the one that we're seeing these pictures of is a 975cc. Basically, she says that we're going to see bikes with a fairing and, and a partial fairing models. Uh, in the video, you see models that were kind of stylized after the old XR750, the you know the flat track bike that Harley Davidson, you know, really was successful with in the flat track days for a long time. And then another one of the bikes you see in there was is basically stylized after the VR1000. The VR1000 was their super bike. The V-Rod gained a lot of inspiration from the VR1000. So once again, more of sport oriented riders who maybe who haven't looked at the Barn Shield or Harley Davidson before may this may pique their interest cycle world who, guy that authored this article basically has has said okay so is harley going to be going after these smaller markets and going for the small incremental sales in these markets and the coo michelle basically said that you know due to harley davidson's distribution and their huge dealer network they see this as a big growth opportunity and they also see it as a lot of potential in the European markets. In Europe, the Street Fighter bikes and the Adventure bikes are very, very popular. So they, they hope to, Harley Davidson hopes to basically get the international sales uh, on par with the, the sales in the United States. So they're really banking on getting a lot of sales from the United States markets, but these bikes are also developed with with respect to what's hot and what's popular in the EU as well. So the third and final bike that they announced today, what they're calling the Future Custom Model, which that's not gonna be the name of the bike, they just haven't named it yet. This is more of a traditional American cruiser. 
And again, this is the third of these three bikes that are gonna be built on this same core platform. So same engine, this is the 1250cc engine. And once again, like I've said a million times before, we don't know the name of this engine yet, but it's the 60 degree uh, V-twin dual overhead cam with uh, liquid cooling. So this looks like kind of like a uh, American, modern American cruiser motorcycle, real fat profile tires, rectangular front headlamp. And again, this is just a prototype, as it says here, prototype model shown, production model features will vary. But I, I think this is gonna be a pretty good representation of what we're gonna see ultimately on this bike. And they say this is planned for 2021. And Harley Davidson has said that this will not necessarily take the place of the Sportster models, uh, but we'll see. So I'm gonna jump back over to Cycle World's article Cycle World says that this will be a 2020 model, which is actually a contradiction of what Harley Davidson has on their, their website. Like I showed just a minute ago, they say it's gonna be a 2021 model. So I, I'm gonna go with Harley Davidson here and, and say this probably isn't gonna come out until 2021. But this is more of a classic, what you'd expect from Harley Davidson, an American motorcycle cruiser. Cycle World calls it a baby fat bob because it does have kind of a real fat front and rear end. This is more of like a a modern cruiser you got a rectangular headlamp on there uh, so more along the lines and the style of bike that you'd expect from Harley-Davidson and once again it's using the same frame and or the core frame and engine as the other two bikes that we talked about already and it's interesting he says the silence was deafening in all of this as the word sportster wasn't part of the discussion the likelihood that these new liquid cooled middleweight twins are a replacement for the sportster line is low so expect news in Harley-Davidson's more traditional custom space. There is also the Adventure Sportster shown in the video that suggests continued life for the air-cooled platform, uh, which I, I don't agree with that speculation. Uh, I think that they just put that little those Sportsters cruising off-road in the video just as kind of like a, a inspiration behind some of the bikes that they're coming out with now. I don't think that they're going to have some new adventure bike built on an air-cooled platform. I don't think that's that's the case. And then Michelle says, I wouldn't jump to a conclusion that this product is necessarily a replacement for Sportster. So she didn't really confirm nor deny that. Me personally, I think it's gonna replace the Sportster, but I could be wrong. I think they're gonna phase out the Sportster here very, very soon. But who knows, I've, I've been wrong a lot. So that's just my speculation. Here's the big information that I found interesting in the article. It says this is the first of five bikes in this range. So we know there's gonna be five bikes that are styled similarly to this, like a, like a classic tra traditional American cruiser. Once again, uh, I don't think all five are gonna come out in the same year, but maybe that will be the big launch in the 2021 model years. You'll, you'll see this, this line of motorcycle come out. Uh, and so you've got these five bikes built uh, in this on this platform, in this niche. And then you've got the Street Fighter bikes. There's gonna be nine of those Street Fighter bikes. So that makes 14 bikes. Harley Davidson has said that there's they're gonna come out with uh, 16 new models total. Let's see if I can find where she said that, right here. So 16 new middleweight models. So I'm, I'm assuming the other two are gonna be the real small ones that they don't show us uh, on that on the engine that's going to be like a 500 cc engine the ones that are i guess primarily going to be built for india that we really don't know anything about at this point so last but not least harley davidson has confirmed their all electric motorcycle the live wire will be coming out in 2019. the live wire is the result of years of research and development and basically back in 2014 harley davidson had what's called the project live wire they had a prototype version of this bike that they were traveling Route 66 and letting people test ride it. I was lucky enough to have test ridden the bike in Santa Monica, the end of Route 66, and I also rode it at the Staples Center uh, a few months later. And this bike is a lot of fun. You just twist the throttle and go, 100% electric motorcycle. And even if you don't know how to ride a motorcycle, as long as you know how to ride a bicycle, you can get on this motorcycle, twist the throttle, and ride it no problem. It's a very easy bike to ride. And Harley Davidson, kind of a, a bigger side note to this news is the fact that Harley Davidson has said that they're going to get into 
the realm of other electric vehicles. So they have basically said that they're going to be getting into electric bicycles and like pedal assist bicycles, which is very surprising because I'm actually looking into buying one of those bikes right now. Yeah, they're, they're going get to gonna get into a whole new realm of electric powered two-wheel vehicles, not just motorcycles, but bicycles or scooters or, or whatever else. We don't really know. There's not a whole lot of clarity on exactly what vehicles they're going to be getting into. All we have is kind of some uh, some sketches and early developmental like prototype sketches of these different vehicles. So jumping back to Cycle World and just kind of getting some of the commentary here uh, from, I guess, the, the press release. The Livewire is going to really fit a ultra premium segment of electric vehicles. And they also confirm here electric assist bicycle as well. So that's going to be very interesting as well. And so the 2019 Livewire is a premium high power halo model of the HD electric line that will be delivered in 2019. So I'm assuming there will be other bikes other than the, the Livewire. There will be other all electric motorcycles coming out as well. And in 2014, the Livewire prototypes proved to be dynamically competent and fun to ride. So it looks like in the pictures that the battery size is a lot bigger on the final product of the Livewire. I know Harley Davidson, part of the project Livewire, they were really trying to get the public's perception on these bikes and their expectations as far as the battery range and the pricing, which are two things that get asked a lot, which we still don't know the answer to. Let's see if I can go back to Harley's website here. So they have some frequently asked questions that I thought were interesting. Will Harley Davidson offer additional electric motorcycles? We intend for the all new Livewire motorcycle to be followed by an exciting portfolio of two wheeled electric vehicles. What's the name of the motorcycle? The Livewire, we knew that already. What is the difference between the Project Livewire and the Livewire? The Project Livewire was an electric prototype model created in 2014. We allowed real riders to test out the motorcycle across the world and feedback was collected on the experiences and features of the motorcycle. This input was then used to refine the development of the all new Livewire motorcycle, a next generation electric motorcycle that builds on the performance of the original prototype. Where can I purchase the Livewire motorcycle? It says the Livewire motorcycle is gonna be available in North America and parts of Europe first. And where will the live wire be built? It's going to be built in their York, Pennsylvania manufacturing plant, designed in their uh, development center in Wisconsin. And uh, what are the product specifications? Stay tuned for details. So we don't know what the range is going to be. We don't know what the uh, the charge time is going to be, or any of that stuff. So. Here's some more prototype images of different two-wheeled electric vehicles that Harley-Davidson is going to come out with here. So that's about it in a nutshell, guys. That's all the information I really have at this point mixed in with some of my opinions and predictions. This morning when I woke up to this announcement, I was absolutely blown away. I'm super impressed with you know the stuff that Harley-Davidson is going to be doing in the direction that they're leading this company now. And you know, on top of everything they've done in recent years with the new 2018 Softail line, you know, now they're announcing this adventure bike and street fighter bikes and, and another looks like another brand new frame and engine. So, you know, it's just Harley Davidson is just innovating like never before. Uh, they're co they've come out with new stuff and will be coming out with more new stuff than they've ever come out with in the history of the motor company. So, you know, I, and they're, they're cutting edge on their electric motorcycles. Um, and they're going to be probably one of the, the forefront leaders in applying the, the EV technology to this type of a, a platform, motorcycle platform. So I'm really excited about the future and I'm really excited to get my hands on these bikes and bicycles and, and doing test rides on them and you know, maybe owning a few of them. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the, the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. There's still a lot of unclear things around these models, and I think there's a lot of things yet to be determined by Harley Davidson as well. And if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. All I do is Harley Davidson content, so if you're a Harley Davidson enthusiast, I'm coming out with a lot of stuff geared towards Harley Davidson, like reviews and destination rides and product reviews and things like that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care.